Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. We're going to try another mission on Wolfpack, the World War II German submarine game. Today's crew are as follows. We don't have ship names today, but boat one is Captain Cap, TDC Cortana, Navigation Bird, Helms Guns, Dive Officer Rob, boat two, Captain is Bob, Helms and TDC is Strider, and Kaz will be doing dive we're going to try some new things out again and i'm not sure how it's going to work we're also trying a new place the norwegian sea and a new time and a new date and a new year so we're just going to see how it goes stand by norwegian sea okay everything appears to be working all right guys uh, bird start playing around with your nav it's your first time navigating so start drawing lines and stuff and just getting used to it, it can't be that difficult guns just check the systems and get ready okay myself and Cortana the first thing to do is to go and find some shippy whippies spotted oh Jesus Christ she's so one, quick one four five relative large convoy alrighty then one four five we're headed to... due north at half speed right that's all fine uh, yep. they are moving to the right they're moving left to right, aren't they? So if they're heading... Affirmative. Where, so they're heading... Right, let me guess. They're heading, I'm guessing, something like west. We can get the precise heading here in a moment. Is there anything uh, you want to do while we're here and while we're more or less stationary? Yes. Okay. Uh, so let's, if we go to all stop... All um, stop, please, guns. All stop, bye. And let us know when we're below a knot. Uh, Cortana, we can do our speed readings or whatever you want now. Yep. That's gonna be the plan. All right, so I'm looking at a guy at about one four, God, call him one four nine relative. Yep. Um, split superstructure, uh, central engine, looks like mast, funnel mast. Uh, one four nine, I've got a ship behind a ship, if you know what I mean. And there's one behind it. Is that your vessel? Yeah, that that's the that's the vessel I was looking at. Uh, might actually help to look at a different one. Because uh, I'm actually seeing. Yeah, can we try a different one? Because that's confusing the hell out of me. Uh, it's just I can't tell which funnels on which ship. I got gotcha. you. Um, maybe then again they're all they're all like that, Cortana. Oh Jesus! I found a friggin' Titanic. Cortana, look at this. Uh, break one four four in the distance. Oh yeah. You seen that? That's, I do. That's a light. That's a million-ton liner. I don't know if we can attack it, but we could certainly use it as a bullseye. Uh, yes, but we can't see its stern, so we can't use my technique on it just yet. Right, oh. should have noted. Guns. Um. My bad. Sorry. Right. Uh, what about Cortana? There's one that's about to be released at one four six. There's one behind it, but he's about to be released from the one behind it. Uh, yeah, let's figure that guy out. So that one looks like composite central... What do you make that out to be? Mast, the, funnel... The trust the mast? mast. The, the trust mast at the front, is that part of the ship behind, do you think? Yes, it is, isn't uh, it? That's part of the ship behind. So it's mast... No, no, it's not. It's it's moving relative. So yeah, it's... Come it's on, so we stopped. Ship. Yeah, we're dead in the water. Oh my god, I can't work this out, Cortana. I'm seeing double, I swear. I can't work out who's part of what. Uh, yeah, it's not uh, doing us any favours. God, they're all in front of each other. We're just going to be patient. Does, they're, they're only going five or six knots. Um, is there anything useful we can give to Sub 2 at this point? We could give the bearing to the convoy, certainly. Uh, I don't know if that's any use. Gun, uh, bird, sorry. Do you want to tell Sub 2 that convoy from us is absolute 149? Copy. So, I'm looking at the guy at 151 relative. Yeah, yeah we're back to him. I'm, I'm happy to do that now, Tana. He's pretty much deconflicted. I see, weirdly, I see mast funnel, mast superstructure, right? Yeah. So, split superstructure, engine amidships, um, mast funnel mast. And we can kind of go from there. Roger. Let's work on that, guys. Uh, Apparently, maybe a medium tanker type 11? Stand by. Yeah, sub taste test, sub one. Yeah. Medium tanker medium. type 11. Yeah. Yeah, well found Cortana. I'm sticking it in the list. Okay. All right, length 125 meters. Uh, apparently, sub two is right beside us. Ha! Huh. Sweet. Interesting. Well, that's okay, nice. so 
What we need to do, Cap, is we need to time the time that it takes to cross the center wire of the periscope from bow to stern. Right, I am uh, basically ready whenever you are. Bow, three, two, one, mark. And I'm gyro stabilized. It's great that the sub two's next to us, guys. That's just like one massive difficulty solved for us. Well done. Makes sense. Definitely eyeing up Titanic. It looks frigging awesome. Three, two, one, mark. Okay, got the same numbers. Can I release? Of course. Right, I'm gonna start looking. Oh my god, look at that size of that valued viewers. Six. All right, uh, let's try to figure out range. Right, uh, oh my goodness, where is that one? That's that one. Right, it's a 36 meter mast, so, uh, uh, uh. I think we're, Jesus, convoy, it's such a big convoy, Cortana. It's massive. It is. I don't think we've attacked something this big before, and I haven't actually seen the Royal Navy yet, although they will be there, obviously. Right, I've got maybe make it... I'm going on 13 milliradians, I think. What have you got? I think I've got 10 kilometers, but see what you've got. About that, yeah. Okay, uh, can we make our first plot, or try and make our first plot from our current position, bird? Uh, I'm going to give you absolute. Is there any problems me giving absolute coordinates to bird? Nope. One, five, six for 10 kilometers. We're gonna need to do the three degree technique at the same time. I forgot about that. Also, I don't think we're actually gonna be attacking this guy, Cortana. He's not optimal. Right. That's, the idea is we'll get their precise angle on bow. You got it. And if we have their angle on bow, then uh, we, we can literally plot them like exactly where when, they're headed. When you get a second, can you check out 170 and tell me if that's a flowers? Uh, yeah, it does it pretty be. Right, we've got the Royal Navy. And check also, 138, confirm flowers. Shit, they've got bow and stern covered. Two flowers, there's two, there's uh, one yeah. in the background. Three Royal Navy ships. Wowee, I must have put a wrong setting in. I must have put it on hard mode. That's super cat. We're gonna die. Yep. Uh, eventually. Let's see, we need to do the wire crossing time. If you want to do three degree, I'm going to do bow and stern again, just to make sure, because um, the, the time will have changed slightly just based on the range. Roger. Uh, and then we'll rearrange real quick, and then that should give us, um, yeah. Well, I'm ready for three degree whenever you are. All right, go for it. Three, two, one, <coughs> one degree, <coughs> two degree, three, two, one, mark and holding we'll wait to do that part of the step uh until yeah. later we're, we're just trying to get precise information on Roger. their direction got both measurements uh rearrange them real quick stand by uh, 13 as best i can see that's 10 10 kilometers caught on it actually looks a bit closer but for some reason i'm reading 10 kilometers because um, they've got an acute angle on bow they are actually coming towards us which is fine but just saying they are all right so when you got time, I think I found a po our possible bullseye attack ship at one five two relative. It's out in it. Yeah, open okay. with the trust front. Okay, Cap, mm. I need you to put the uh, periscope directly in the center of that ship that we were using for the, the plotting. I've got it in there now, and it's holding. What is the heading of the periscope? Uh, the uh, the true the true heading of the periscope. Absolute one six two point zero. Trying to f work this out in my head here. Valued, um, valued viewers, I need help with angle on bow, so start practicing valued viewers. We're currently acute. Uh, I can tell you it's uh, fifty four degrees. That sounds exactly about right. Yeah. And so you said uh, they're traveling which direction? From left to right, as far as we care, which is going westbound. Okay, their heading is roughly two nine zero. Yep, I would agree exactly with that, Cortana. That's good. Um, okay. Uh, we're going to take it. Are you ready to take a nav plot? Are you confident to take a nav plot yet, uh, Bird? Bullseye is at one. Six six absolute for nine point five kilometers. Are you pointed right at the guy again? No, do you want it? I've got it now on yeah, center yeah. mass. Okay, I'm on center mass. Okay. I currently show so their their heading is two nine zero and their speed is approximately seven knots. Brilliant. Uh bird, pass to Bob. Calculated information. They are seven knots and they are heading two nine zero. Please pass along. Already passed. Anything else before we get Oscar Mike Cortana? Uh no. Helms, please start the diesels. 
set us on a course of 290, half ahead. Roger, half ahead, 290. Bird, tell Bob we are now Oscar Mike to shadow the convoy at 290. When you're ready, Cortana, we can start looking to things to blow up or what we want to target. There are some juicy targets yeah. out there. Yeah. Also, I'm, I'm currently trying to get ranging real quick on the flowers. There's one that's Roger. closer to us than the others. Okay, I'm going to start working on what I think we're going to attack. Valley viewers at home, I'm thinking about targeting that ship there. It's a big tonnage, and it's a big target to hit. And even if we miss, we're going to hit one of his friends. That is an appetizing target. Okay, so the one's either a passenger liner type 2 or passenger liner type 3. I'm thinking about targeting relative 230 uh, with a truss at the front slightly in the background it's just massive and if we miss it there are ships left and right of it I let me see okay so i'm, I'm in a... your hands i'll do whatever you want but uh, that's truss that's truss mast mast funnel king post it's a rare hey, it's so a rare ship that passenger liner is fifteen thousand tons Oof. that's tempting I would have no problem with it. It's the proper German thing to do. It is. It is very German. Think, uh, not Louisiana. What was her? What was she called, guys? Lusitania. Lusitania. Okay. Well, let's. Have you put it in recognized? Let's go and put it in recognized ship, shall we? Um, Captain, we are at two two nine zero at eight no, at six knots. Thank you, guns. Uh, could you put it up to three quarters power or the nearest you've got? Three quarter speed. Roger, going to uh, great speed. Okay, about 38 meter mast. I'm just going to expect Bob still to follow us. on the surface, right? Yeah, we're on the surface, and I'll just expect Bob to have the sense to follow us. I'm going to try ranging him, Cortana. Oh, it's really hard to see a second mast. I might do a funnel ranging. I... Yep, that's what I'm trying. Okay. I showed the funnels at almost exactly 10 miller radians, so about 8.4. So but you'll have a better vantage point from your parents. Yes, I'm yeah, I'm a max. I've got a 10 as well, Cortana. So 8.4 kilometers. Yes, Bird? Okay. Sub 2 says the leaf flower is 9.5 knots search pattern. Roger. Um, Bird, I'm, are you ready to take a new nav point? It will not make sense with what, because we've changed ship, but it's our new bullseye vessel. Taking fixes from our position, go. One. Six two relative for eight point four kilometers. Right, we're about on the limit of how close I want to get before we get spotted. When you get a chance, bird, it'd be nice to tell Bob that we're targeting the Lusitania. Traveling at nine point two knots, Cap. Roger. Also, there will be no fancy distraction methods today because there are three Royal Navy ships. Uh, it's going to be hit and run at best. It's just so well protected. That said, we can probably win this just by sinking two ships and then fleeing. Our only job now, guys, is getting ahead of the uh, convoy and not getting spotted. We'll take regular ranges, I think we'll be okay. We should be on a matching course now. Uh, confirm course and speed, Helms. Course is 290, speed is 9.2 knots. Right, so we're on the starboard side of Cortana, obviously. Uh, I'm going to get a few kilometres ahead. We'll take regular fixes. I think we're ready to go full ahead now, guns. Sticker in 18 knots. Roger, 18 knots. Are you ready to take a new fix, nav? One, six, zero, absolute, for 8.4 kilometers. Some of these other vessels might be much closer than that, Cap. That's yes, kind of in the middle of the convoy. You're absolutely right, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And I'm open to whatever you want to shoot. Uh, well, so I'm thinking maybe let's turn out just a little bit, open up the angle, not run quite as parallel. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just worried about getting spotted at the moment. You got it. Hey, Cap. Yeah. We got a problem. This thing started us off on electrics. Right. Battery's down to 80%. That's right. We'll try. We'll charge it. Uh, turn the electrics off um, and set them to charge. By the time we dive, they'll be fully charged. Um, Stop. Get those diesels going. <clears throat> Based off the last plots, I reckon they're on a heading of 305 now, if we're uh, near. Um, right, so can we make a new heading of 310 Helms? 310, I just want to open up a bit of distance on them. 310, I. Uh... Right, let's come and have a look at the plots. So we are where this guy is. We know Sub 2 is near us or doing the same thing more or less. 
Um, talk us through it. What's the red line? Is that the predicted course of the convoy? Uh, I kind of drew that different. Roughly, yeah. Right, very um, roughly. It might be slightly to the right. Okay. All right. All right. Well, if, if the ranging was off, then, uh, or our timing were off. Be. Everything then, will be slightly uh, off. It, yeah. it will be. Yep. Okay. Exactly. All as well, guys. Bob says they're going to attack the lead and flower and get in position and wait for a countdown. Freaking Bob is so cool. Cortana, just um, sanity check. If you get an eye on a chance on Ops, 228. Flowers is coming straight towards us, but I don't think he can see us. Oh yeah, he's way out there, Cap. All right. Not too worried about him. I'll leave him. He's at least eight kilometers away, if not more. Roger. Um, guns confirm that the batteries are now charging. Uh, negative. I can't start charging. Um, do we know what the problem is, guys? Uh, it, it started us up on battery for on uh, electrics for some reason. Well, that doesn't matter. We should still be able to Can charge. You, yeah, you should be able to if you select charge battery on, say, the port engine. Yeah, just run around. Right. Then. Oh wait a minute. There we go. Confirm your charging guns. Yeah, charging. Um, confirm no our current. will drift. Uh, yeah, I was going to say that. Confirm our current speed and course. Our current speed is uh, coming down 16 knots, and we are at 310. Okay, now bear in mind, guns, because you've got the dynamo on one of the screws, she's going to drift to one side, so you've got to keep updating right. the course. So keep updating that course. That's your job for now. Roger. Okay, Bird, I'm ready to take a new fix on our bullseye vessel. We may not attack this vessel, but it is break. We are getting away from it now, as we thought we would down to 9 milli radiant. So, heading 159.88.7 kilometers. Say when plotted. 159.88.7. We need to start having a think about, um, did you say you wanted to think about attacking something else, Cortana, or did I read that wrong? Battery um, fully charged. Okay, get both screws back on propulsion. Oh, um, I'm game for either. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's sort of a whatever you're, whatever you're feeling. There would, are some biggins in the convoy itself. I would personally really like to attack Lusitania because I've never done it before, and it would be half okay. the game complete at that point if we sink her. I mean, I, I suggest we just slam four, four torpedoes into her. Yeah, I think that's probably the right call. Uh, we'll be in the wolf pack then, and then they'll scatter, and then we'll just clean, clean up whatever we can. Uh, the first attack will be done by sub two, who'll be taking out flowers because he's got those skills to do that. Um, and then we'll be in position to um, attack the big one. So we would need to coordinate that strike, right. otherwise the big one's going to maneuver. And right. E even if the angles are more or less right, the uh, the sort of like slaloming that they do will uh, essentially yeah. reduce their, their relative speed of yeah. advance so we'll almost certainly miss. Alright Info past it, uh, Bob Roger, I've actually lost Bob but again I'm not going to worry, he knows what he's doing Okay, we are uh, getting very far on the way and we're getting to the edge of um, our visibility Cortana so I think I should turn this left 20 degrees back onto track now uh, yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. Guns, uh, carry on, but now head 290, please, because we're getting too far away. 290, aye. Okay, our bullseye vessel is now 158 for 9 kilometres. 158 for 9. Looking sexy. Yep, so we're getting ahead of them nicely, guys. Course 290 and holding. I'm just going to work out our track. I'm just going to draw some lines on your pretty thing. Uh, yeah. I'll delete them afterwards. You are the black line. Roger. I'm just working out our track. Okay, our track offset is 7.8 kilometers. So all is well at the moment. We'll get a little further ahead, guys. Then we'll think about turning in for the trap. Uh, now's a good time to go for a wee wee BRB. 155. Four, uh, ten kilometers. Can't uh, to slow the boat. No, we're getting ahead. It's fine. 
uh, looking wow. at stuff, and if we engage at about three kilometers, there's about a 50 second difference between the T1s and the T2s in time to impact. So we'll have enough time to update range and such. Are you saying you firing. want? Are you saying you want a three kilometer firing range? Uh, three kilometers or less. So like between yep. 2.5 and three would be ah, ideal. We'll give you at, that. At, at 2.5, it's a 45 second difference. Watch out. Very good, guys. All is so, looking well. Sub two is at 1.2 kilometers from his escort. What does that mean, guys? He's 1.2 kilometers from. Apparently, he says he's his escort is at 1.2 kilometers. He's lying in wait, waiting. Jesus Christ! Right, we better do our turn in then, guys. Stand by. Um, say that we are seven kilometers off the track. We are turning in now. Tell him that. Guns, my buddy. Can we come <laughs> left to? Two two zero full ahead. Left two two zero full ahead. Coming left two two zero full ahead. Aye. Right. The maximum spotting range in these conditions is going to be about six kilometres, guys. All right, we're doing it. Hi, Cap. I'm going to go ahead and retract the observation scope. The value viewers, if you've been following us, uh, that is the convoy roughly going like that. We started roughly here, we've gone there, we've got ahead of them, we're now turning in, as you can see here. I'm going to stay on surface as long as we can. When we go under, um, Bird, you're going to have to take as many readings as you can, if that makes sense, because you won't see us on the map anymore. Of course, 220, full ahead. Roger. I'm pretty happy with the course. Uh, bear in mind we're going to be spotted about 6 or 7 kilometres, I now need to see... That is our track offset there, we're about. So we've got about two kilometres, one, kilo, one and a half kilometres to go until um, we dive. Uh, battery percentage, please. Guns. Battery's full. I'm going to stay on the surface for as long as I dare. All right, so Cap, mm -hmm. so that we can get the full information, what I'm going to have you do when, when it comes time, I'll have you do the three degree method mm -hmm. while I do the wire crossing time from bow to stern. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as you're done with that, go ahead and get the estimated range to target. Because gotcha. if we get all of that information, I can give you the exact angle on bow. And so it doesn't matter if you move your periscope. Right, I am just watching flowers now. Flowers is my main concern right here. So let me go and check him out. Flowers is twelve meters. It's about five mil radians. He is at eight kilometers. Eight kilometers. No, I don't think he can see us. Confirm our heading, please, guns. Heading two two zero. Roger. We are six kilometers off track. At half a kilometer, and we're pretty much going to be diving. Six kilometers from Cortana's track line. Yes, we are. It's that time, guys. Diesels off, please. Helms. Diesels off. Uh, diesels off. Uh. Tell me when we're ready to dive. Uh, Bird, tell Bob we are six kilometers off track. We are diving now and moving into position. Okay, on to electrics, Helms, and what was it? Brilliant speed or something? Uh, great speed. Great speed, please, on electrics, and tell tell me when we're ready to. When can we dive? Okay, I'm just going to quickly check the hatch. All right, Rob, it's time for you to kick to action, sir. Can you take us and maintain 11.5 kilometer uh, meters? Roger, diving. I'm uh, pretty sure 11.5 kilometers is below our crest. I see. Right. Uh, off Cortana. Uh, who are you? Uh, <laughs> Oh, my brain's not working well, so today. I don't, I don't think the Norwegian sees that deep. Ludicrous so. speed. I want ludicrous depth and ludicrous speed. Guys, um, keep us appraised of our speed, please, guns. Uh, we are at 8.4 knots and climbing. Roger. We need to, you need to start, now we're going under. Uh, Bob, you still, uh, Bird, you need to start making some predictions. I do know your name, sort of. We're going under, valued viewers. We're going under. The hunt begins in earnest. Right, let's see where we left off. Value viewers, so we've made ahead of the convoy. Our convoy last was plotted there. We are now going under, as you can see. We no longer have automatic nav, up, nav updates. So it all has to be done by predictions and dead reckoning. Okay, we're currently heading on our best guess there. 
and let's see when our last known position was exactly. Our last known position was 5.5 kilometres off track, which means to get Cortana's three or less, we need at least 2.5 kilometres underwater. Now this is where it starts getting difficult, Valley Viewers, because we run out of batteries. We've got old lead batteries on this thing, and we run out, then we're dead, basically. So it's all a big balancing act. That said, Speeded seven knots. we're in pretty good shape overall. Uh, confirmed depth dive. Depth is 12 metres, just coming up slightly. All right, Bert, are you ready to start taking nav fixes for our bullseye vessel? Oh, uh, let's try. Bullseye vessel Lusitania is at 143 degrees absolute for 8.4 kilometres. Oh, they're getting a shift on now, so we're here. The Lusitania is here now, humanoids. Okay, you can see that was Cortana's original prediction that she did via trigonometry and maths and stuff. And you can see it's pretty much perfect because it's exactly where the plots are going. So everyone's done a good job so far. I'd add that we didn't actually have accurate ranging information at the time. We certainly just did not. At, at extreme ranges, it yeah. gets much harder. So I, I just sort of made a wild ass guess in terms Roger. of the actual position of the line. Valley Fuse, the threats are large today. They've got flowers there. Flowers are only Corvettes, but they are mean machines uh, for a World War II submarine. So you've got a Corvette there, and you've got two Corvettes at the back. Uh, at least one of our submarines will probably be killed today because three Corvettes, probably on hard setting, yeah, yeah, you just can't escape it. Maybe Hans Gruber from Die Hard 1 or 2. No, Die Hard 1 could be able to do it. Go. Okay, Bullseye Vessel at one four two degrees absolute for eight point two kilometers guns what's our battery battery is at uh, about 90 percent watch out valid views you can see where our sub this is where we're predicting our sub is now we have to because we're not an amazing crew we don't know about sea states and you know where the current's pushing us and stuff so we just it is just very much dead reckoning we think we're there uh, there's the latest plot there, which all looks pretty good. Our line of best fit is still working pretty well. I'm going to check our track now. Or our estimated dead reckoned track. Five kilometres. We've still got two kilometres to go before we get into what we think is going to be our firing position. If I was a cleverer man, I'd be able to predict where we are in ten minutes and where the hostiles were in ten minutes. But I'm not that clever. So, flowers, don't uh, underrate it. It's got big guns that will smash us and it's got 70 depth charges. 70 variable depth depth charges. Now the problem with that is you think, oh, I can outrun those depth charges and dodge them. But the problem is you run out of stuff. You run out of compressed air in the sub. You run out of battery power. And once you run out of one of those things, you can no longer dodge and you're dead. It will find you and kill you easily. Being a sub commander was a bitch of a job. Now, nuclear power sub, not so much. You can just go forever. Can we get a report from Bob, just for viewers' interest sake, what he's up to at the moment? And you might as well tell him that we are, break, under five kilometres off track now. Valued viewers, uh, this is probably our walk, last wolf back for a while. We're going back to CC2 for a nice campaign, as I know you want to see that. So we'll be doing that. Valued viewers asking about Alan Rickman in. Is Alan Rickman played Hans Gruber in Die Hard 1? And the Sheriff of Nottingham in... Robin Hood. Says Corvette is too distant for a good shot now. He's going inside the corner. Roger, Roger. She is one, four, zero, four, eight kilometers. The other thing that makes this hard, valued viewers, is the ships don't just go in a straight line. They wiggle and weave because they're constantly under threat of people like us. So everything is dead of reckoning here. So if you're wondering... Okay, based off that, the ship has taken a turn to the southwest. It ha absolutely has. It's gone to the other side of the convoy. So the ship, the convoy, is a blob moving along here, and the ship is going weaving like that all the time. It's horrible. Uh, you know, for us to do. Well, that said, I'd rather be in a sub than a ship. So there you go. Yeah, they're doing a slow zigzag pattern. Yeah, it's not very nice for anyone. Uh, tell Bob we are now four kilometers off track. Four kilometers off track, one kilometer to go. Battery strength guns. Battery strength is uh, 80%. All right. Bob, um, other guy Bob's taken this game really seriously as he does because Bob. So he's got to the point now where he's maneuvering like inside the wolf pack, like a pro, you know pro would do that's, that's beyond us we just play it as a bit of fun obviously once a week 
got to be careful. I'm now within, well within spotable distance of this guy here. Valid view, so I've got to be really careful about presenting my scope up. So it would just be a quick up, snap, and then down. That's exactly what they would do in real life. So up. 1.2 milliradians. Ready for a fix, uh, bird. In case you're new to this, Valley viewers, we're using a stadium metric milliradian ranging system, which is just how it would work. Huh. <coughs> he is definitely doing a zigzag. Look at that, Valley viewers. He's definitely doing a chuffa chuffa. Fine, whatever. Bob thinks the course is on a 282 heading, but I think that's more 260 for us. Yeah, also, because they're doing a bit of wiggling in between, we are 3.3 kilometers off track. We've got a little bit further. We are now three kilometers. Guns, time to start saving battery. Guns, half speed, and report when we're at half speed and what that speed is. Roger, half speed, aye. We've now made it into our firing window value to use, more or less, and so it's now time to go half speed and start saving battery. Now, in reality, that he might choose to use his active sonar and ping us, uh, and they do do that randomly, but it is random, they are random pings, so, if he chooses, he might ping. If he pings, he'll see us and he'll come and bomb us. So it's all luck of the gods at the moment. Five knots and falling. Prepare to update odometer or whatever you got to do, bird. Good work, bird, so far, by the way. Flawless work. Go it's ahead. holding steady at 4.6 uh, knots. Okay, update the dead reckoning at 4.6 knots. Flowers is coming our way, guys. I doubt she's seen us, but I'm just going to stay periscope. Confirm OBS is down. Affirmative, I, I lowered it. All right. Um, I'm just going to wait. If you want cap, just because they could, they might be able to pick us up with passive hydrophone, we could go to dead slow. Dead I'd slow. Really conserve, really conserve the battery. Dead slow, I Let you let us know when we've bottomed out our speed, please, so we can update the dead reckoning. Roger. So, what? And I, we, we really don't need to get any closer than we are. Roger, you got it. So that's a good call from Cortana. Right? Basically, uh, <coughs> Flowers is pointing our way. He must have had a bit of a tip off. Uh, that someone might have seen a periscope is pointing away. It's not actively pinging, luckily, but he could passively list on, listen on his hydrophone and he can hear our prop. Now we've gone to dead slow, it's almost impossible for him to hear our prop. Bob has an active ping. Right. I'm leaving that as a Bob problem. That's a problem when they start active pinging. Luckily, we haven't been yeah. active pinged yet. Do not and falling. Thank you. Yeah, keep an eye on the convoy to see if they start maneuvering. Okay. They very well might. Uh, the convoy doesn't have to have an absolute certainty that they've seen a sub. If they see a periscope, or think someone sees a periscope, they may manoeuvre, just to make sure. What I've got to do now, Valley View, is try and get as much information I can without presenting my freaking scope. There's Flowers, look. She's here, though she doesn't seem to be aggressing massively. If you see that one of Valley View, you want to go, oh, ping like that, you see him? That's Flowers right there. She's not actively pinging us, and... But she's in the worst position she could possibly be for us now. Speed holding steady at one and a half knots. Update dead reckoning, please. I got it. I can't even stick my goddamn um, thing above, wand above the thing because she'll see me. So I've just got to sit and wait now. That's submarining, I'm afraid, valued humanoids. We are 2.7 off track, so we're in firing solution. We're just stuck now because uh, the Corvette's out our way. We usually don't play on hard mode, we usually play on medium mode. I think I'm accidentally putting on hard mode this time, so it's going to be a little bit tougher. What I really want is to stick my goose up here and just look at her, look at her, look at that bastard. He doesn't know we're here, look, but she's, he's, maybe he's just doing a search pan. Do well, look, Bob's got pinged, he might be um, searching, yeah. I think they found Bob, or they knew Bob was there. Trying to see. They don't look obviously disturbed, Cortana. Ah, no. Yeah, I'm wrong. They have been spooked. One's turned around. The others are heading off. I think we're not actually in that bad a shape, though. They've changed course to the break east a bit more, which is kind of bad for us, but also not terrible. I'm going to take a fix. Nav fix. Nav, tell me when you're ready. Okay, stand by. 140.446.4 kilometers. If you imagine they'd all, they've all pulled to the left about 30 degrees or so, Cortana, that's what it feels like, which means they're pulling away from us, which is annoying as shit. Cortana, is, it, is their hydrophone 360 degrees? Uh, should be more or less, um, with the exception of uh, a small area in the back, so they'd have a lot of trouble hearing through. Roger. They might go back on track, to be honest. She's now 90 degrees 
angle on bow, which is exactly what we don't want. It means, valued viewers, what's happened is they've got spooked by Bob, and instead of going along this path, so they were there, instead of going like that, they're now going like that. Basically on a heading of roughly, well, you can see there, look what's happened on the map. She's heading off like that. Which is a problem for us because it means we no longer they're no longer closing on us, they're going around us. Which I guess is exactly what they would do. Because they know our weaknesses. Our oh, goddamn Corvette's turned into us again. F off, knobhead. Well just be patient, valued viewers. I guess we wait. Valued streamers are asking whether they'll return to their original course after a while. I would hope so. I mean, at the end of the day, they've got a place to be. Uh, and they're expected to be on that place at times, so fingers crossed they will get back to their original thing if they don't see Bob again. The good thing as well, I've heard no bangs, so no one's dropped any bombs on Bob yet. So at least that's nice. I do think Bob Just was playing... A a from yep. No more pinging, he says, so good. he'll be coming back, of course. I was slightly worried about Bob because he's popped himself in the middle of that combo. I was slightly worried about that. Okay, Flowers is... Ah, yes, Flowers is RTB. Bad news is the convoy is still heading away from us, which is bad, bad, bad. I wouldn't be surprised if we've got to let them get away and get back on the surface and go hunting again. Lusitania is still 90 degrees angle on bow, more or less. Which means she's heading 145 plus 90, which is 1235. So she's heading something like that. In fact, it's exactly where Bob's plotted her, Bird's plotted her. They're now going like that to... Alpha Foxtrot 5281. Because they're angle on bow, they uh, are not getting further away or closer. And I can just tell you the. Uh, I can tell you that 146 degrees, same distance as last time. 146 degrees, same distance as last time. What's up, battery guns? Batteries at 65%. Just go to all stop. We're not achieving anything anymore by moving. All stop and update. Roger, all stop. Uh, stop the dead reckoning. I think they're turning back onto a original. I think the escorts may be turning on back onto more of an original course. Ah, yes, and look at the Corvette. The Corvette is steaming back ahead. I think what's happening, Valid Value Viewers, now is they're resetting back to their original path, which is great news for us. See that? You can see the angle on bows coming down on this ship. You see how you can see the king post there? The angle of bows getting break uh, acute, less than 90 degrees, which means they're starting to turn right again, which is exactly where we want them. Yes, Lusitania is turning. Lusitania is turning. All is going well, guys. Phew. Captain, we are dead in the water. Yep, I'm happy with that. Anything you can do to save battery, now do it, guys. But I don't think there's much left to turn off. Lusitania is now 45 degrees angle on bow and coming towards us. Woo, 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 woo. Right, what I'm going to do now is be a little bit patient and wait for the Corvette to pass, which is not my strong suit patience, I know. And Lusitania will drive right by us. You can tell birds that the convoy appears to be resetting back on its original path now. I already passed that on. Sure. I told them where we roughly are. So the question is now, valued viewers, because Lutestenia has gone out here, has she gone out outside of our firing range? I don't know. But is she going to continue like that? If she goes like that, there, she's going to be outside of our firing range. If she gets back on the path here and then comes along like that, she'll be within our firing range. Oof, who knows? can't stick my periscope up high enough to get over the Earth's curvature to get decent ranging yet because uh, Corvette's too close. Let me go and check on Corvette. Corvette is now... Yeah, she's obtuse. She's obtuse. Angle on bow. Lusitania is looking sexy. I think we've got a chance to do a quick ranging. I'm going to try it now and pop up. And... Ooh, 16 milliradians. Are you ready, bird? Ready. One five four point six at six point two kilometers. What is she doing? Okay, okay. Unfortunately, she's not got back on her original track, which is sad uh, because she's now offset, which means we are no longer in firing parameters. So what we're going to do now, humanoids, is to track her and double check that she's going on that path there, and then we're going to have to turn the engines off and burn some battery. Uh, in fact, we might as well start creeping. Are you ready to start creeping, guns? Yes, sir. Because we're um, so close, start dead slow. Update bird with the speed when we're up, when we're going. Dead slow, I. A long one. Same course, two two zero. I think so. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to burn some battery to get back, probably to about there to a firing solution. I would expect. 
which means at least, no, probably even further, probably about there. It means about two kilometers to travel, which means about 30% of battery to do that much. Which will bring us to about 30% of battery at firing time, which will basically give us a one shot on target and then not much else after that. It's going to west. What I think he's doing is he's following the red line again, but he's doing it offset several kilometers because they got scared out to the west. The problem with that is we're going to be outside of firing range, which is real fucking annoying. Bob says he has a good shot on the escort. Hold or fire? Hold. There's just no point. There's no point. There's nothing to be gained. There's three more escorts. And we've got no solution on anything at the moment. <coughs> just have to be patient. At least the good news is we're behind the escort now, kind of. So we should Bob pass. says he's after the convoy. Do you have a range? I'll, I'll do a new range. We'll do one more, a new ranging. Uh, one six four point nine. He is five kilometers. One six four point nine for five mm, five point one kilometers. Yep, exactly what we thought. If you want to know what's going on, quarter under, check out the map. Yeah, I see it. Let's check out where our little mate is. Hello, mate. Okay, we're well behind the Corvette now, which is nice. We're still an acute angle on bow on Lusitania, so that means she is getting closer. We will wait. I can actually start using a mast now, in fact, which is going to be a more accurate way of measuring, which is how maths work. So a mast, front mast, is 35, no, 36 metres, 36 metres. Reset the scale there. That is 32 milliradians. 32 milliradians. Wow, she's getting a lot closer, a lot quicker. She is now 168.5 degrees. 168.5 degrees. 3.5. 4.3 kilometers. 4.3 kilometers. I've now got a more accurate way of ranging her. Okay, that's looking sexy, guys. Look at that almost perfect swishing she's been doing. Almost a perfect sine wave she's been doing. That probably is what she's actually been doing as well. Right, Katana, I think game is on again. Roger. It's not going to be that long now. She's moving it. Slightly worrying she's sped up now to get back in with her formation, but you see how that perfect wave that is, humans? That's probably pretty good plotting, to be honest. Battery strength, guns. Batteries, it's still 65. Good, so we're not using any battery and we're creeping. That's cool. Right, Muzzle will take a new fix because reasons. Uh, Right, that's Lusitania, and that is her mast there. Let's get her ranging. She is at 174 degrees, 3.8 kilometers. Ah, oh, man. Uh, boat two have lost one of their guys, and we can't get them back in. That's a shame. Yeah, I'm going to have to run off in a minute as well, Cap, because I've got to go and do some work. Roger, uh, Rob. All good. We are holding steady at about 11 and a half meters. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and when someone comes to do the dive, the negative tank is only half full. Roger. So we'll need to add some water if they need to dive. Yeah, I don't. I doubt we'll be surfacing either, so that's probably all good, guys. Uh, did you make that plot? Uh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Look at that. Here she comes, guys. Uh, we can now tell Bob, Bob that we are sub four kilometers. Uh, we are sub four kilometers from our target vessel. Still creeping along, are we, guns? Yes, sir. Yep. One, one and a half knots. Is that a master? Is that a master? That's got to be a master there. Rear mast 39 and go and 35 Ready. milliradians. Uh, right, she is at 183. I've got to check the milliradians again. It wasn't right. Going to pull in front of us soon if we're not careful. Roger. Just give me a second. That's not her mast. Ah, that's not her mast. It's someone else's mast. We may just have to start. We've got slightly the wrong ship. We've got passenger liner, recognition table. Merchants, liners. Uh, Cap, it's the it's the middle of the three on towards towards the front of the ship. Yeah, it's definitely that one they there. Just crossed. It's it's the one that's a backwards L. Yeah. That's her mast. Okay, we're now at forty milliradians, assuming thirty-seven. She is now at three point four kilometers. Cap, if you want to do, we can do the false angle on bow, even though we can't yep. see her bow or stern. So we we should go ahead and do the three degree method. Right, uh, tell me when you're ready to start. She's pretty much 90 degrees angle on bow, out of interest. Uh, ready to start. She's not Block. getting any closer. Three, two, one, mark, two degree. Three, two, one, mark, and holding. Good to go. Can I, can I, can I release? Affirmative. 3.4 kilometers. 
and she's not getting any closer because she's now at 90 degree angle on bow. I'm ready to start yeah, I'm, spraying torps. I'm off station, Cap. See Good landing. Can we have half speed ahead, please? Guns. Roger, half speed ahead. All right, go ahead and get uh, one last range. 40 kilometers. Exactly 3.4 kilometers. All right, we're ready to fire. Where do you want me to fire? How many and where? Um, shoot one directly for the front of, uh, or shoot one in front of the, the uh, funnels, shoot one behind the funnels. Go. Okay, how to get the fire? Two have fired, lowest times two. We've also got auxiliary ships around her. What do you want to do with T2s? Range is going to stay the same because she is now 90 degree angle on bow. Tell Bird, we're, tell right. Bob we fired. Dead already. ETA, rough ETA, so I can pass it on. Oh, wow. We, uh, we're well off our position. 3.15. 3 minutes and 15 until they hit. 3 minutes and 15 until they hit. All right, get ready, Cap. We are we're actually a lot closer than more. we thought. Oh, yeah, fuck. we're... Uh, we're okay, we're all good. We we're all good, guys. Speed. Don't worry about that, Bird. It's, it's, it's just counted for. I'm ready for any, what you want, Cortana. Same 3.4 kilometers. Give it a minute. Give it a minute. Ready to fire. Where do you want this one? Same? Uh, same. Okay, firing one. Ahead. Just waiting a second. Ready. Okay, I fire one ahead and one behind. T2's in the water. Tell Bird, four fish in in the water. Something's happened with our sub. We're a, we're above the water. We've Someone surfaced. jump and dive. Surfaced. Someone jump and dive. Cortana, sacrifice the timings and get on dive. We've surfaced right next to a fucking corvette. What a bad time to lose our freaking dive officer. I guess we see if we get away with it. Uh, we don't need you on nav anymore, bird. Do you know how to dive? I just opened the valves to see if we had anything, but I don't see. We're diving. Roger. Just past 11 meters. Okay, can you pretty much maintain and trim, please? Have you still got your stopwatches going, Cortana? Affirmative. Uh, about a minute. Tell it on, tell Bob, Perfect. about a minute till impact, about a minute to impact. Once you've stabilized her, can you please start reloading the tubes? Already done. Two All fish right, on escort, he says. Um, I'm actually ready to start pumping torpedoes into her if we need to, Cortana. She's stayed 90 degree angle on bow, which means she's 3.4 kilometers still, and at the same speed. Uh, it depends if you want to start shooting something else or not. Uh, we don't have anything loaded. Roger, roger. Something here, but it wasn't us. That wasn't us. What was that? Well, no, no. Keep, keep in mind, it's a. It's. I only have rough information. So, it, with the false angle on bow, it can be plus or minus ten seconds. Roger. So that could be us. Did you? No, it's not us though, because I'm watching the ships. They're not blowing up. I don't know what that was. It was probably Bob shooting someone else. Okay. One escort sunk. Yeah, it was Bob. Yes, Lucitania hit once. Lucitania hit twice. And she's on fire. I doubt she'll sink with that. See what she does. Are we half ahead, guns? Yes, sir, half ahead. What is our brake speed? Where's our battery? Where's our battery? Our uh, battery is at uh, 55%, uh, and we are at 4.4 knots. Cool, Tana, do you think it's a good idea? Stand by, something hit. Second shit hit by accident. And that will probably sink her. Lots of tonnage hit. Probably 35,000 tons. Uh, probably 20,000 tons hit now. Roger. Guns, what's our current heading? 220. 220. Pinging. Just take us down. Let's take us down, Cortana, please. Oh. Uh, jump on dive. You got it. One ship destroyed. D what depth do you want? Uh, can we go to 30 meters, please? 30 meters. 8,000 tons sunk. Where is this goddamn hull? Yes, here she comes. That's annoying. Uh, I need an immediate left pull to 170. 170 to take us into this guy to close the gap. 170, aye. Where's this hull? Where's this hull? I'm going to take him into us to close the speed and screw him. Then I'm going to turn into the convoy. 
Where's your hull? Where's your hull? Sink, Lusitania, sink! Keep me appraised of our current heading, please. Coming around to 190. What's our depth, please? Passing through 30 meters. Still got a bit of ambient light. I can hear his prop. Where are you? Coming heading guns? We're coming into 170. Thank you. Okay. We're at 170. Prepare for 260 on my mark. Mark 260. Go. 260, aye. He's asking, do you want to come and shoot the escort or go for the uh, convoy? Convoy. Stabilized at 30 meters. Check no torpedoes. 230. Thank you. Two one reloaded. Tube 2 reloaded. Thank you, guns. Okay, so I've turned up on that way, I've turned that way, I'm going that way. Can we now please go back to 230 and stabilise on 230? 230, aye. Cortana, can we get up to 15 metres depth with the, with the planes only? Uh, yeah, of course. Can we get to up to 15 metres, uh, or shoot actually shooting depth, about 12 metres uh, with the bow planes? <laughs> I'll let Bob know where his weapon's free. Roger. If you can stabilise that, I think we've escaped the escort. Alright, got a 20 degree rise on the planes. Course 230, Cap. Oh, fuck off, mate. Damn it. Sorry, guys. He's picked us up. Does anyone know where we might be picking us up from? Doesn't matter, I've got him. Maybe. I'm going to have to go evasive and um, uh, just keep us alive. Guys, can we please turn 060 half ahead? 060 half ahead, I. Yeah, it's annoying, but what are you going to do? Should be shallow enough so you can get the periscope up. If yeah, you want. I can see him. I can see him. We've got a lucky ping. Man, I don't think we're enough torpedoes into Lusitania. That is so frustrating. Captain, repeat that course. Uh, zero six zero, please. Zero six zero. I know it's a weird one, but Roger. It should close the gap so that he can't launch any uh, things at us accurately. More ship going down. Oh, twenty-three thousand tons. That was Lusitania. Lusitania just sunk. Yep. Well done, guys. Good teamwork. Right, we just need six thousand, six and a half thousand tons to win this. To be honest, we're probably just going to try and stay alive now. Can you get ready on the bow planes, please, Cortana? We're not going to be shooting anything for a while. Affirmative. Two, three, reloaded. Planes are manned. What's our current heading, guns? We are passing through one hundred and forty degrees, coming around to zero six zero. Is it a left pull or a right pull? Oh, come on, there's two of us on. It's two of them trackers now. It's a left pull. Alright, fine. Alright. Right, we're not ready for dive yet. When I issue the dive, can we dive to 40 metres? It's going to be a little while as yet. They've triangulated us. They've got Tell uh, Bob that two of them are attacking us now and it's their chance to destroy some ships. Current heading guns? Zero, zero, 090 zero and still turning. Right. So, zero, 060 zero plus. That is 170. Right, okay. That's what I'm Look at that guy trying to get lead value views. You see him trying to get lead on us? Well, we're going to stop him doing that. Zero six zero. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, we've beaten one. Where's the other one though? I don't know where the other one is. 
Oh, yep, there's one, there's one. Okay. Right, one is behind us. One is missed us. Right, let's keep going. Guns. If we're on 060, that means we're heading that way. He's behind us. I would like to please turn into this guy. Add a new heading of 320, left pull. 320, left, left pull. pull. Left pull, 320. Uh. Right, this guy's coming from here, look. We're going to run right across his track. And then dive just as just as he starts putting his uh, bombs out. Oh dear, sub two doesn't know how to surface. They don't need to surf. Oh fucking hell! All oh, right. Well, um, Cortana. Told them how to do it. And dive to forty meters, please. Dive to forty meters. On the, 40 meters on the planes. Guns, are we still pulling? Yeah, we're still pulling. We're Keep coming going. to uh, yeah, north. Going. Yeah, we're going. Guns, immediate right pull, right pull. Uh, zero, four, zero, zero, four, zero. Right pull, zero, four, zero. Barrels to tower, the barrels can hit us. Fuck! Oh! Thing of this, I watch a barrel go right past my periscope. Good dodging, guys. Good dodging. Survived another attack. Court zero two zero. Battery strength. Batteries. Uh, the gauge is shot. Why? Oh no, it's at exactly fifty percent. All right. We can just buy them enough time to get some kills. One escort's down, two are on us. Right, we're in the blind now, so we're doing this by memory valued view. So at this point, you've got to plot in your mind where they were last and where we were last. Current heading? Current heading is 020. Alrighty then. Is it static or is we're still on pull? Oh, uh, no, it's static. We're oh, just off. We can you get on the planes, please, Cortana? Already am. We're established at 40 meters. Okay, when we give the order, please dive to 65, but not yet. Roger. Have we got any spare hands for a hydrophone, or is everyone busy? I'm still plotting. Right. I can use a hydrophone, I don't need to be on here. I can hear everything I need to. Trying to get ready for the dive. In three, two, one, dive with the planes down to 65, please. Guns, make a left relative pull of 90 degrees now. Left relative pull of 90 degrees now. Left 90 degrees, aye. So we left it in time. Passing through 50 meters. Guns. Three three zero zero coming around to two nine zero. Tell us when we're there. We're at two nine zero. Is anyone hearing active pings? Negative. Negative. Sweet. Stay on course.
you want me to go all stop on the engine so we go dead quiet? Not when they're active pinging. We'll get it next time they're not active pinging. Does anyone know this, the floor here, the floor depth? Depth under keel is 770 uh -huh. meters. Okay, Cortana, prepare to take us down to 90. Guns, prepare to take us to 200. Zero zero. Just listen for the pings. Roger. They're Nine doing, zero meters. They're doing, like a by, by. they're doing a scissors behind us. And... Guns, pull left two, hunt, two, uh, zero, zero. Take us down to 90, Cortana. Left pull, I... Zero nine zero, die by. Where does Bob still alive? Uh, I don't know. Find out. We might just be wasting time here. Are we diving, Cortana? Affirmative. Passing through 75 meters. Yes, one fish in the water, he says. Nice. Passing through 80 meters. Things have stopped. Top. He's missing his bombs are in the air. Passing through 230. Oh, oh. oh they got us. Good hit, to be fair. Good hit. Right, uh, we Hunt. can uh, we can join his crew. And we try to come and shoot an escort off your back, but we're oh, just... Oh, don't worry about uh, that, God. Oh, you're not in, you're not in the slow. convoy? Uh, we are behind the convoy now. Roger, are you not in immediate shooting? Uh, no, we are... Oh, that's a shame. No, no. All right, they, what, what we they, tried they to they do... They us by. We tried to, uh, yeah, distract those uh, guys. Well, at least you made it out safely, guys. Does anyone get the final score there? 24,000 tons or something? Uh, about, Somewhere thereabouts. Yeah. yeah. We knew it. Something. We knew it was going to be difficult because four Corvettes chasing you down, and we were constantly getting hassled by Corvettes throughout that. There was they never really, we never really got a lovely big window that we did. But hey, you know what? We sunk Lusitania, so that's a good thing. Yep. <laughs> hey, we were we also did. four for four on torpedo hits. Yes, that yeah. was some good shooting. Uh, I did hit a flower corvette at close range with nice. two torpedoes, so... Shame she doesn't weigh 15,000 tons, but never mind, guys. That was a very close one, and it was a big thing to attack with two subs. I mean, it's four corvettes versus two subs there, so... Yeah. In mind. And, um, and they did alert. They did alert. They did alert, um, didn't they? I'm not, yeah. I'm not sure why. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe, the, you know, sometimes if they just spot that uh, periscope for just a second, they might alert. Yeah. They, they didn't fully alert, but they... You know, medium alert. Good shooting, everyone. Just everyone did their job well. Uh, we're going to try a bit of CC2 next week. We'll see how we go, and we'll see you later.